Hey everybody, it's Bridget with Bridget's Binging Beauties and today I'm going to show you how to print your shipping labels through PayPal. Now, this is who I go through, this is who I've always gone, gone through PayPal since I've started and this is what works for me. Um, FedEx or UPS might work better for you and how you do it or who you ship your labels through, but I take payments through PayPal and so it's just easier for me to ship through PayPal since it's already in there anyways. What I do like about PayPal is that because they've paid, they have to confirm an address so I don't have to type in an address through PayPal um, unless it is like a team gift or um, like somebody hasn't paid me and I have to put the address in and I'll show you on the video later on why I would have to do that um, but otherwise so here it goes okay so bear with me I'm hoping that this works I gotta move this table out a little bit okay so I've just signed into my PayPal account and I didn't want you guys to see like all of this info but we're gonna go to so you have your main we're going to go to this little button right here, Payments Received. Okay, so the next thing that you're going to see is all right here, Completed. All the payments have been completed, and now it says, if you go over here, it says Print Shipping Label. So I'm going to go to the first one. print shipping label okay so the person's name is right here and then her info is actually down here her info will be down here and then it'll have my info so what you have to decide is if you want to ship it through USPS or UPS so that's what's really cool is that you can pick either one for the most part I ship everything um, from the United States Post Office because it's literally like a block away from me. It's like five blocks away from me. And so that's just easier for me and I do everything first class. So you're gonna wanna come to this part, service type. You can do first class. Media mail is not something for us. That would be like if you're shipping like a CD. It's like literally any kind of like media, um, musical stuff, things like that. That's what media mail is. I'm honestly not sure about the parcel or the priority mail. I honestly stay with first class for the majority. And then because my items are in bubble mailers, I always do package or thick envelope. And so right here is where you're going to want to weigh the package. Now I just have a regular like scale that I had gotten from a digital scale that I got from Walmart and I will show this later or you might have already seen it. Um, <coughs> but if the weight say it's like five ounces all you do is click calculate shipping And this is what I would pay for this item to get shipped is $277 and then you hit confirm pay payment. I'm not going to do it right now because I actually am not shipping this right now. Um, but once you hit confirm payment, it's going to go into a different page and it's going to have the print button. So you want to make sure that your pop-ups are available so that the print pop-up will come up through PayPal. So you click on print and then you want to print that label. Now there is another way that you can do this and that's, I'm going to go into the other one as well. If you have multi-orders to be shipped, this is how you're going to do it. Okay, so if you have multi-orders to ship, you're going to go up here, right here, to tools and you're going to click on multi-order shipping, which is right here. <laughs> Sorry. And it's going to go into another... Like this is what you're going to see. It's going to go into a totally different pop-up. So like I said, you're going to want to make sure that your pop-ups um, are able to do this on PayPal. 
And normally it'll say like pop-ups are not allowed or something like that. And so you just click on it and then you can click on like always allow a pop-up, allow a pop, <laughs> allow pop-ups or um, just this once. So if you have a bunch of like I have a bunch of um, them to import, you can import and it'll import right from your Facebook or I'm sorry, your PayPal. Sorry, <laughs> I feel so bad now. Um, it'll import right from your PayPal. So if you have a bunch of them that you need to ship out, I suggest doing it that way. Or if you just have one. So normally if I'm doing this, it's because I'm sending out like say a hostess gift and they didn't buy anything, they're just getting free items. Or if I'm sending out like a team gift, what you do is you go to create and then you're going to go, you're literally going to click on all of these. Now, I'm not going to click on ship from address because it'll show my address, but that's already automatically in there for me. Um, yours might not be. Mine is automatically set up to be like that. So order details, you don't need that. But shipping detail, and you can make this go back up. It'll say right here, like priority, first class. Um, and so I always do the first class thick and then you add the weight say it's and it'll go up to one pound um then the ship from address you're gonna go first name last name address if they have like a um, house number or a apartment number goes right here the city the state and then the zip code um dang it i don't want to put in one so once you're done just hit save and close. Ooh. So I am going to put in one because I think I know my mom's address. So I'm going to quick put this in. Just one second. Okay, so I just put my mom's in there. Her name's Jenny. And I hit save and close. So when you want to go print, you click on this. So I'm not gonna print it right now because once I hit print, then what it'll do is it, it'll charge me. So I'm not gonna do that, but this is where you're gonna wanna hit print. And then there's gonna be another pop-up and you're gonna get um, the printing thing to print off. I wanted to show you my um, digital scale. So you guys, it's, not that hardcore. It's just a food scale. Oh, hi, you can see me. Hello. It's me. Sorry, I got distracted. Um, so yeah, so this is the digital and then you just like turn it on. And right now it's gonna be all crazy because it's not on anything, but like when you push it, yeah. So, and it just takes those batteries. This has lasted, I've only had to change the batteries um, once since I've received it. And um, so here's the, and then if you, if it does that, you just hit the tier thing again and it'll go down to zero. I've only had to change the batteries out once and I got it from Walmart and I want to say that it was like $17. So just know that for sure it was under 20 bucks. All right, so a little bit more about the video. I just wanted to show you some of the stickers that I use and the bubble mailer. So the shipping labels that I have are pro office shipping labels. There's two on each sheet and they have the rounded edges, as you can see. Um, I cut my sheets in half. I know on PayPal you can edit the printing to where it just prints the label part. Um, but I haven't figured that out. So I always just cut my labels in half and it just prints the first part. Otherwise, it's like you're wasting a label. So if you have done that, you're not the only one. <laughs> um, the next thing is this is my bubble mailers. I will also put a link in the description. Um, I normally get them from eBay on who I get them from. I always order from the same people. It's the same length every single time. And I order these pink ones. They're really nice, but the sticker on the back, the only thing that I don't like is that the sticker on the back, um, after a while, it tends to like pull up. And so I actually have bought these stickers 
they say handle with care fragile thank you and they're pink and black um, I will post a link to these as well in, in the description so what I do is I normally just um, fold it down like undo this secure it and then I secure it even more with one of these stickers I just make sure the stickers right in the middle I also use because stickers are fun right and they really don't add any weight on um, these do not crush stickers. Look at those little elephants. They're so fun. And like my customer thinks my, they think my packaging is just so incredibly cute. And then on the front, I always put one of these and they say, love me tender. I just think that's freaking adorable. You guys, I, yeah, I think it's adorable. Um, fragile, love me tender. So I will also put a link in the description for these as well they're super affordable they're not expensive like at all and like you said my customers really love like all the extra detail that I put into my shipping um there's nothing like getting like a fun little pink mailer in your mailbox so um thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that it helps if you have any questions please just comment below